You ever have one of those days where you just look out the window and you just think, it's such a nice day outside, the outdoors are calling to me, I want to ride my bike more than anything else in the world. But you take a look at the weather or you take a step outside and everybody is telling you, hey, you should limit your strenuous activities so you don't get heat stroke or cancer. But dang it, it's a nice day. I want to enjoy the sunshine, I want to ride my bike, and if you've ever experienced this situation, here's how you can happily ride your bike in extreme heat. Preparation is key, and I don't mean to sound like your mother, but putting on sunscreen is key. Make sure you put on before you go out on your ride. Take this with you out on your ride because you gotta reapply it periodically in order to keep the cancer at bay. And like with most things, especially with cancer, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This time of year, unless you live out in a desert, the mosquitoes are coming out. Take some insect repellent with you so you can happily just deal with the heat and not have to worry about getting skin cancer or getting sunburned or getting eaten alive by pests. It's a good idea to pack as light as possible so you're not exerting yourself while pedaling your bike unnecessarily, but also be sure to leave plenty of space for water and for refills. Because hey, it's a pretty good idea to not get heat stroke and plan your routes so you have enough planned breaks. Make it leisurely, make sure that you have access to food and fluids. So make your route fun and ideally close to or within civilization. <laughs> and of course, your clothing choice has a lot to do with your comfort while riding your bike in the extreme heat. And this is exactly what I'm going to wear today for my 30 mile ride out in the 107 or 42 degree heat. I'm wearing white on top to reflect the heat. I've just got a regular old cotton t-shirt as a base layer. And on top of that, I'm wearing a nice breezy and breathable linen shirt. And it may sound counterintuitive to wear an additional layer on top of a t-shirt. The additional layer also provides shade for your skin. And if you're a more fair-skinned person, it gives you protection against sunburns. But regardless of how much melanin you have in your skin, Mosquitoes are out this time of year, and having an extra layer on top keeps those nasty bloodsuckers away. And I finally caved for you longtime viewers. You would know that I am a staunch wearer of pants, regardless of the weather. Being in hot, humid Taiwan, I couldn't bear it anymore. I finally caved in and got myself a pair of shorts. I'm telling myself I'm a cyclist. I got nice legs, so might as well show them off and be proud. But I am a bit self-conscious about my legs and being so revealing, so please, for my sake, keep your thirsty comments to yourself. For the shorts, it's a good idea to stick with darker colors because black and navy, they hide sweat pretty well, and the phenomenon known as swamp ass is dang near unavoidable when you're riding in the extreme summer heat. I had to learn that lesson the hard way, so learn from my mistakes, do yourself a favor, and never wear khakis if you're riding your bike. And for my shoes, I'm wearing some fancy pants leather loafers because I'm a gentleman, damn it. But the shoes actually play a pretty big role in keeping your body temperature regulated and keep you staying cool. Show some ankle to help you cool off and to wear thinner socks. But it's a good idea to also wear shoes made of more breathable material like canvas. But by all means, wear whatever is comfortable for you. All right, mom, yeah, eat food, drink water, sunscreen, I know. Can we ride bikes now? Yes. I'm going for a 30 mile ride, it's very hot. Taiwan has this incredible ability to be really windy, really cloudy, yet still be stiflingly hot. The humidity with this wind, it just feels like somebody is just blowing their hot breath on you and that perpetual film of moisture that chokes your skin and doesn't allow it to breathe properly is just ever present. And if you ever wondered what is the deal with cycling caps, 
Unlike most hipster things, cycling caps actually have a purpose, and that is to keep sweat out of your eyes while you're riding your bike. And if you ever got sweat in your eyes, you know that it can burn more than pocket sand. One word to summarize how I'm feeling right now. Sweaty's pretty good, clammy, those are two words. But it's all good because I'm just riding at a conversational pace, which is really important on these hot days because everything on a hot day takes a little bit more energy, more effort, so it's a good idea to keep a little bit of gas in the tank to make sure that you don't bonk. Also, if you go too fast, you could trigger your body to start sweating a lot more than it needs to. You'll lose more fluids than you need to, and you might not make it as far as you need to. On top of that, pedaling at a slow, steady, leisurely and conversational pace can give you a nice, gentle breeze to help cool you off without overheating your body too much by exerting too much force. So keep it slow and steady and just be chill because we're trying to keep cool right now. It's one thing to plan your breaks. It's another thing to actually take them, especially once you start getting into the flow of things and want to keep up your speed. Bless you. <laughs> but in the heat, it's really important to just chill, calm down, catch your breath, take a drink of water or electrolyte or whatever you drink, hopefully not whiskey. Take a moment to reapply your sunscreen, your insect repellent, enjoy the view and make sure that you get to your destination because hopefully it's a fun one. Riding isn't always a race and you don't have to be in a rush to get nowhere. So just chill and don't get heat stroke. And speaking of breaks, let's take a commercial break to appreciate our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles. Wabi Cycles is the epitome of what makes cycling fun. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give you the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with master craftsmen right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike that you'll love. This amounts to efficient, elegant, and timeless bike that you can get from a passionate group of fellow cyclists. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special, weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a completely steel, lugged frame set that has no carbon components. That weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though. It results in the best riding experience that I've ever had on a bike with a snappy, responsive, and lively bike that only top shelf steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride Wallace my Wabi Special as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia. So if you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description because it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to the perfect bike. When you're riding and it's really hot, you gotta expect pools of sweat. It's inevitable. You're taxing your body, it's hot, your body's got to cool off to not die, and the result is pools of sweat. But there is something you can do to mitigate it, and that is getting your weight, your load, off of your body and onto your bike instead. Because wherever that a backpack or a messenger bag is touching, sweat is going to collect since the sweats can't get through and evaporate. So whether you want to use a basket, a front rack, or frame bags, just get the weight off of your back and you'll be a lot cooler. Or if you just want to be a mega hipster like me, you could just deal with the pools of sweat. But our eternal enemy, the one known as swamp bass, unfortunately, our current understanding of the universe has not allowed us to find a definite solution to it. Okay, thank you. But it's so 
it's so dang easy to focus on the negatives of cycling, especially in hot weather. Yeah, you got pools of sweat, yeah, you got swamp ass, and yeah, people may be judging you if you sweaty as heck. But the thing is, there's very rarely perfect situations to go cycling. You can always find excuses even on the best of days. Your mindset matters a lot more than the weather or your bike isn't optimal. But if I focus on positives, I'm glad I went out in this swamp ass heat eating some big ice cream and watching the nicest sunset in Taipei. And these hot days just make the sunsets all that much sweeter.